our, been our, our major focus. And we've also been able to start um, a, a we've been able to kind of establish our HBCU esports league through our partnership with Twitch. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so that's that's kind of been um, where we are now. I mean, things are, are really kind of ramping up. And, you know, this is, um, you know, one of those milestones that we've that we've been looking for here as most of our efforts have been focused on Web2. So with like the league, we'll play things like Call of Duty, um, Valorant, um, NBA 2K, those type of games, obviously on PCs or consoles. Uh, But we're looking, you know, at Web3 as kind of like Mm -hmm. the new frontier here. And uh, so that's why the partnership with PathDial is so important and, you know, came at the perfect time. Yeah, nice. So, uh, so yeah, I guess elaborate a little bit on how you are implementing Web three and how you're sort of moving from Web two to Web three um, with your like. It seems like maybe like more of your focus, obviously partnering with with uh, a DAO like Path. Like you're clearly sort of shifting over to Web three. Um, like, what is how, what's your what are your plans within Web three? Um, obviously, getting in, get involved with more uh, blockchain games and play to earn, like that kind of thing. Yeah. So um, with community, we've built um, some pretty strong, uh, forgive the, the the pun here, but communities um, <laughs> in, in the United States, uh, specifically around kind of your, again, kind of traditional um, black and brown um folks um, in the United States, but we also have been developing a community in Africa. And in both those regards, uh, we have seen that, hey, the esports and video game industry is probably like traditional Web 2 is, you know, a $180 billion industry. And one thing, the reason why we got involved the way that we did initially was because we saw that a lot of underserved, a lot of underserved folks in the United States and in Africa, um, you know, either didn't have the resources to, uh, you know, to to develop even a passion within video games and gaming. Uh, they didn't have the money to buy the consoles or the PC specifically because the you know the PCs are, are that much more expensive. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to provide those opportunities uh, to those people who are interested who had a passion for video games or maybe uh had a um a natural inclination towards like those stem fields for uh stem meaning the you know, science technology engineering and mathematics and that's what we've kind of been been doing for the last couple of of years we've just been trying to kind of um bring bring those people who have had that passion and, and help them understand what opportunities there are within uh, video games and esports. Um, you know, a lot of times we we get caught up with um, like the Phase Clans and the Hundred Thieves and and people like that. They're kind of like your NBA stars, right? But there are opportunities for folks to create games, um, as we're seeing in Web three. And so, how does that kind of apply to Web three? Is that uh, while we're we're kind of behind the curve in Web two, Web three being you know from a play to earn perspective you know, is kind of an, is, is kind of on the cusp. So we feel like in Web3 that things are still early enough where we can provide opportunities for these communities, both in uh, the United States as well in Africa, to really take advantage and, and really kind of learn and, uh, and, and really kind of stake their claim to this vast, vast, you know, metaverse um, where they can play to earn, right? The the successes that we've seen in countries like the Philippines, Singapore, Indonesia, some South American countries, um, especially for Africa, we we've noticed that a lot of the kind of the 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 KPIs are very similar in, in African countries as they are in the Philippines. And so especially for our African contingent, we want to give them the opportunity to understand first, hey, there's a great, there's a lot of opportunities within um, play to earn and cryptocurrency. So 
uh, you know, partnering with PathDial allows us to do that in a way that is one authentic because we really respect what PathDial has been able to do um, in, in their success, in your success, um, in, you know, uh, developing uh, such a robust DAO structure and uh, your own coin, as well as the guild um, that, that you're building out, um, you know, is, is great. So we, we look to, you know, path DAO to allow us to a have that truly authentic means of coming into web three, um, where we know that, uh, the people that we bring into this space will be taken care of, um, by a company that really cares about their players that really cares about their scholars and does it the right way. Um, you guys are thoughtful about the games that you go into. You're thoughtful about, you know, the scholarships that you provide. And that's what we need now because our, you know, our, our, our communities in Africa are, are a little bit behind in that they don't have as much experience as it relates to cryptocurrency, but they do have the passion, you know, so the same passion that we've seen that has been able to uh, affect in a positive way. Uh, people's lives in those countries that I named in, in Southeast Asia, uh, we think that we can do that same thing for uh, folks in Africa. And, um, you know, there is also opportunities for for people in North America. Um, I think for them, it's more so about kind of learning about the opportunities within Web3, um, bringing over those people who we've given scholarships to for STEM. We want them to know, hey, there's opportunities in Web3. Like you don't have to go work for a publisher, um, you know, like at Epic or 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 at um, um, you know Activision Blizzard or something like that. You can create your own games, right? You can do that, and and you can have control over you know how you release it, when you release it, what it looks like, how's the gameplay, updating it, and things like that, right? And have full yeah. control of what you're doing. So that's kind of what we're looking for as far as the transition over into Web3. Well, no, and like also like you guys are doing a lot of like about like career placement, you know, um, because there are opportunities like at all like different levels. And, you know, even uh, a lot of those like Web2 companies like you talked about are like, you know, transitioning out like into Web3 stuff. Um, can you talk a little bit more about like career placement? Like, I know, you know, that's something that, you know, you're really like helping like with. Yeah. So, um, right now we've established some really great partnerships, um, with, um, you know, corporations like Verizon, like 2k, um, and Comcast, what we're really looking to do for our, our communities, our contingents is to just present them with opportunities, right? If you want to go and you have a passion for gaming um, and you want to be a coder or a programmer or a 3D, um, you know, artist or something like that, like we don't want the fact that you don't have the money to buy the computer or you don't have the the, the money to, to get the, the software or your school doesn't have that program. Um, we want to figure out ways to solve for that. And thankfully we've been able to partner with companies uh, like the ones I've named Verizon included, where now these companies are looking for diverse hires. Um, they're looking for people that come from different backgrounds, not kind of your, your standard, you know, um, general, uh, you know, uh, came from this area or socioeconomic background. They're looking for people who have different, experiences because that can only help them in how they develop, you know, their games, how they develop their businesses, how they develop their their lines of business and things like that. And so what we what we're doing in community is we are avid about um career development, meaning that we are doing like resume building, we're doing internship placement, we're working with these corporations and they basically have set aside, uh, you know, as many as, you know, five to 10 internships that they're looking for us to place our students in. And, um, you know, even within Web3, right, um, um, we look to, to partner with with companies 
um, you know, and, and games within Web3 who are looking for these talented individuals, right? And, um, you know, again, that's why a path dial is, is so important because it, it gives us those inroads to talk with those companies and those startups who have ideas about what they want and are looking for talented people. And and that's really our, our passion. And, and that's kind of the major KPI that we have, right? We want to have we want to say, hey, we have a thousand students and we were able to place a thousand students into their passion. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, OK, can we, can, you touched a little bit about the HBCU Esports League. Can you like kind of elaborate on on what what they're working on like currently? And then are, are you? Are you Sorry, my, my dad is in the background. Um, are, are you kind of com community like kind of at the forefront of moving the HBCU esports league over to Web three? Yeah, so um, a great question. So HBCU esports league is um, is our kind of um, flagship broadcast that we have on Twitch. Um, we we were able to partner with Twitch. Um, in 2021, uh, we do, we've run about three seasons. A season runs concurrently with uh, a typical uh, college semester system. So we have a spring and fall. Um, so that's from August until April. And what we've done is, you know, we've been able to, um, through Twitch, we've been able to uh, get a, a, some sponsors corporate sponsors to help, um, you know, provide funding for the operation of the league. Right now we have Verizon, Discover, and Nike um, as our as our uh, foundational sponsors, as we like to call them. Um, right now we're finishing up season two and, and going to be moving into season three. Um, we focused primarily on kind of sports games, NBA 2K and Madden. Um, the reason being is that um, we are uh, most of the games that the people at, at this point that that we serve are console based. We're trying to help them understand the opportunities that are with PCs. But unfortunately, a lot of them growing up did not have PCs to play on. So, um, you know, that's part of of our initiative is to just open it up. Uh, to, to all types of games um, that are available. So thankfully we have built out, let me, let me just kind of back up here. Um, prior to us starting HBCU Esports League, there was only one HBCU that had um, an esports team and that was Morehouse College. And Morehouse is pretty much one of the most uh, predominant um, and largest HBCUs in the United States. Um, HBCUs typically are much, much smaller than um, your typical state schools. They don't get as funded as well as typical state schools or private schools. Um, and so it's much tougher for them to expend money on things like, you know, esports, um, which they oftentimes don't understand how to monetize those things. So we essentially had to go in and now we have. 35 schools that have esports programs at HBCUs. Uh, there's a total of 107 HBCUs total in the United States. So we've been able to, um, you know, create or help build out 35 at this point. And, and, you know, we're looking to to get to around 60 by the end of this year. And uh, to your question about, uh, you know, what how do we kind of transition into Web3? Um, that's something that we're discussing right now. Um, we are we are looking to uh, leverage our our skill sets around production, and what we want to do is we want to bring kind of Web three to uh, these these students and um, to the audience. So what we're looking to do is again kind of looking uh, with PathDAO to you know broadcast to our audience, you know, the games that they that they can enjoy, right? They they can watch, they can enjoy just like they enjoy watching NBA 2K and Madden. So we're right now we're we're working to kind of um um you know, build first of all that awareness of web3 
And once they have an awareness of Web3, then we can can bring kind of the games to them and they can hopefully, you know, appreciate them like they do traditional console and PC games. This is so cool. These are things like we talk about so much, you know, right? Like, you know, opening up these like games and like bringing them like to like, you know, the players. Um, there's so many like interesting projects going on right now um, in the same sense. Like, you know, <laughs> we got to really like focus like the gamers like on the projects that like make a lot of sense. Right. And like, you know, to have like a partnership like this that is really pushing like, I think, you know, the groups that like we're directly connected with is like, it's only, it's a huge benefit um, for us. So um, appreciate like, you know, you coming in and, you know, talking to us. And I think like, you know, really like, you know, I got like more of a sense of like, you know, your team and like everything that you guys are doing tonight. Like, you know, what does like path down and like community, like partnership, like, you know, kind of what is that, I guess, in closing, like, what does that mean like to you? Man, that it that is um, it it means a, a lot. Um, reason being, again, is that uh, we have a great deal of respect um, for Path Dow. I actually, you know, hold Path tokens, right? Um, cool. cool. I, I, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm staking right now. Um, so you know, I've I've you know, my my brother actually um, got me. Uh, initially told me about about path and, and you know read the white papers and things like that so you know i've been i've been on i've been on the path so to speak um for a while and it's just been kind of cool to have it uh culminate into uh, a partnership with the company that you know is also uh, one of uh, my biggest passions here and so what i'm looking for and kind of what we've looked at from from path Dow is that we want to we want to bring Web3, right, to all corners of the globe, right? Um, we, we've seen the success that it's had and the lives that it's been able to change in, in, in countries. Um, and we see the, the, the just the massive creativity that is out there for anybody who, you know, has an idea and, you know, has the skill set. They can come out in, into Web3 and, and make it happen. There are no limitations. And we just want to make people aware of that. Uh, we want to make um, our contingent in Africa aware of the opportunities, you know, like their brothers and sisters uh, in the Philippines about what they can do um, to, 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 to help their families, right? Um, to build these games because, you know, Africans are, are, are very staunch gamers, right? Um but uh, for a lot of them, they aren't able to to purchase like PCs or consoles, but they have smartphones. Right. And in the metro areas, they have very good Wi-Fi. And so it just makes sense for them to 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 first know about the opportunities that uh, their passion for, for gaming can actually translate into, you know, consistent monthly recurring revenue for them. Uh, if they put the time in the same way that they do for any other game like PUBG and Call of Duty and things like that, um, you know, we're looking to, you know, bring in a, a smaller group initially, which, um, you know, we're going to work to do by the end of this week in there and um, just to kind of get everybody's feet wet. But, you know, once we've um, once we've kind of understood the process and, and how, you know, community and path are going to work uh, together then, you know, we can open up the floodgates. Um, right now, our focus is um, in Nigeria, uh, specifically in the Lagos and uh, Abeokuta uh, area. Um, uh, they have a strong gaming contingent there. But once we've, you know, established that, I, I have no doubt that we can expand across uh, Nigeria and to other countries. And this thing is just going to uh, explode. And I'm, I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited about the opportunities. I'm super excited about the lives that can be changed. 
Um, and you know, just being a part of that is going to be, is going to be awesome. And, um, for communities specifically, the way that we look to do this as well is we want to broadcast this to the world. Like we want to leverage our Twitch channel that our HBCU Esports League oftentimes gets, you know, 700,000 views uh, a stream uh, on Sundays. You know, we want to leverage that so that our audience here in North America also gets to see, hey, this is Web3. This is opportunities out here. If you want to play and 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 enjoy yourself and, and make some money, um, awesome. Let's do that. Uh, but we also want to let you know that there are opportunities, there are jobs out here at Web3. There's opportunities to build your own companies, to, to build your own games, you know, and, um, you know, really just starting, um, you know, a, a movement within our communities that I think can reverberate across um, across the globe. Yeah, that's a, it's it's cool, man. It's a, such a cool vision that you have that you have. And uh, I don't know what kind of strikes me like. You always think of the the game, like guilds, you know, providing the in-game assets for like a game like Axie, where you know it's like a thousand dollars to join, like just to have a team of Axies to play, and and you're taking it that next step, like actually providing the equipment, like the PCs and stuff, and that's so cool. Like, cause you know, obviously, like AAA games are are starting to come out on Web three. I'm very excited about Alluvium personally, um, but yeah, games like that, and and you're going to need more than just a smartphone. So that's really cool that you're kind of bridging that gap as well. Yeah, it's 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 awesome. Like like you said, I mean, there's there you know it's 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 one step at a time, um, you know, and and we just have to bring that awareness. And once we bring that awareness, um, then just like we did with HBCUs and our, our Twitch deals and how we got corporations in, involved with that. We know that we can, we can make a difference and, and that we can, we can bring this, um, you know, we can, we can bring this opportunity to a lot of people. No, it's awesome. Uh, it's, it's really cool. You sharing so much like with us tonight um, and I appreciate you, uh, you coming on and um, contributing to the, to the, uh, the happy hour. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, thanks, man. Cheers. So, Floppy, um, I think should we just start? Like, I'm, I'm thinking we should talk about the new proposal about implementing um, yeah. NFT based uh, profit sharing utility. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I think that's yeah. Again, it's it's like a improvement proposal that that has has been you know, gotten this far. And so it's important to a lot of the community and, uh, Hey, everybody likes profit sharing. It's like a, you know, everybody likes a dividend. <laughs> yeah. You know, here's the whole thing. So, um, you know, a lot of the, uh, the proposals that we've had, um, you know, are maybe not, um, so, um, controversial or they don't have, such like mixed opinions, right? Um, but I think what's going on right now, it's not up for a uh, vote yet, um, but right now it's up for discussion, which is the stage before the vote. Um, this is a very important type of stage. Uh, basically, the discussion is titled, you know, should PathDAO implement an NFT-based profit sharing utility? Um, obviously like, you know, floppy, this is, uh, this is a big thing. This is, this is different than a lot of the different, the other proposals, for example, like with like the polygon, um, the polygon, I think it passed with like 98 or something percent, like approval, like in one direction. Um, you know, this mm -hmm. is a little bit of a different like thing. So, you know, basically there's two authors of this proposal. Um, the, the proposal came like from the community. Um, we were trying to get like both of the authors on like tonight, like to join us. Um, unfortunately, like they weren't like available, but, you know, we'll go over like in summary exactly like, you know, what they've, uh, proposed, which is, you know, they basically want to do um, something where, you know, um, 
floppy like do you do you want to kick it off with like a summary of, of what they're doing with like um yeah so yeah i mean basically just profit sharing um kind of like a, a on the simpler side model but you know if there was like realized profits of of you know one hundred thousand dollars in in one month you know thirty percent of that um thirty thousand dollars might um be you know uh divvied out to uh however many people have got this like path nft that they have staked and then you know so whatever percentage of the profit is allocated to them would be um, split evenly between the number of folks that have this NFT and have it staked. Um, and so, you know, those numbers vary wildly. And I think, you know, I think it, it would be cool if it was sort of a dynamic um, number uh, in terms of like the percentage of profits, because I don't know, my thought on, on I, I treat this as sort of like a dividend, you know, and like if a, right. if a company has a lot of cash reserves, um that they may not have use for uh or or you know and just see like wow this is so much we need to add we need to bring more value to our investors and bring more people in uh into the project like that then then it makes sense but you know you also have to think that you know the the value of the treasury brings value to path dow in you know inherently so you don't want to like give out all the treasury or anything because then that you know limits the the ability for for the treasury to invest in projects that are going to grow it further so yeah so there's a balance and and i and and for that reason i think yes it's, it's going to be it's you know it's not going to pass with flying colors it's not going to get uh beat down or anything but it, it will be a discussion that that will have uh many many voices from both sides i'm sure yeah, well, you know, the uh, the feedback already, you know, maybe this is something that's good. So I'm going to read some of the feedback to you and, you know, you can just like chime in a little bit here because um, the feedback, <laughs> you know, has been kind of all over the place um, as you as you can expect. So, you know, um, this this proposal um, is, again, it's something that has created a lot of discussion within the within the community which is exactly like i think what like the team like is looking for right and um you know some of the reaction for example has been you know for example e e um e hansan that very optimistic about future with this proposal um wiki um, so that's a that's definitely a member of the path um DAO team says uh this is a very uh well thought proposal. Thank you very much. Uh ex Viking and Carlos uh I really appreciate this proposal and would love to further the discussion on details. So Wiki, um he's the chief financial officer of Path DAO. And so, you know, he's responding directly to the two people that wrote this proposal, um, because obviously, you know, this is a good proposal. And so Wiki wants to, to talk further with them. Um, Floppy, are you, uh, do you see all these comments that I'm following here below the, uh, be a, below the proposal? Yeah. Uh, oh, shoot. Sorry. I, I, th I was in the uh, AMA chat. I was trying to read some yeah, questions. Yeah, no worries. Um, CKS is next. <laughs> CKS, he's he's definitely in the in the chats as well. But yeah. he said, you know, I support this, although I don't think um, it's enough to contain the deception, the uh, uh, depreciation of the token um, since the inflation is so high. Um, I uh, would like to hear what the team has to say about this proposal. So. You know, um, we definitely need to get more of like a team response, like for some of the people like here in the chat. Um, you know, obviously the uh, the comment before we we said was from Wiki, um, but you know, we'll uh, we'll look to get some more of like the team response. You know, for people uh, for people here in the chat. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think. For you know, the main purpose of this proposal is is to like get more adoption of the uh, you know 
more investors into path DAO just because you know for whatever reason there's been a lull you know maybe it's the launching into a uh into like the start of a downturn or whatever it may be but i think yeah that's the main purpose of this and i think it will definitely drive people to invest in two path yeah because it's it's a pretty compelling vision yeah yeah i mean people are are writing all types of suggestions so you know like i don't want to acknowledge um like i want to acknowledge all the suggestions right like there's no um we want to talk about one idea and not the other so you know carlo um you know who's the uh, the co-author of the current proposal he says you know let's uh let's say that 100 people burn an average of 50,000 tokens each that would be 5 million tokens out of circulation uh 50,000 tokens costs about you know roughly fifteen hundred dollars um usd at at current prices they stand to make more than that um on the first month of rewards you know the the current proposal right now it has a lot of different views like that's the whole point of us like reading the different comments you know so x viking he says you know check uh check what carlos wrote but you're right, it, uh, it can't stop uh, all of that. There will need to be more initiatives to uh, keep adding utility, you know. Um, there's a lot of different comments, you know. If we go up to, because uh, people were writing for a couple of days on all of this, <laughs> you know. Um, if we go up to uh, the last couple of hours, um, you know, the the comments have evolved a lot but yeah i think that um you know the uh the 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 path dow like conversation about implementing an nft based profit sharing utility that's a a really hot topic yeah absolutely yeah i know I, i'm involved in a, like a couple other projects that are proposing this same type of thing um one in which the the initial proposal was like shot down just because it wasn't fleshed out enough um and this one absolutely seems like a ton of thought has gone into it um so yeah we'll we'll see we'll see where it goes it's uh so floppy let's just talk about that like is that is that the one you're talking about like with with eth lizards yeah yeah that that that's the one that um kind of they they proposed this like kind of i don't know it was it was basically just like an initial proposal um and they had thought out some details but i think the community you know pushed back initially because they're like okay this is super interesting you know the the value of so eth lizards is like an nft collection um that's kind of attached to gaming and they hold game tournaments and and give out rewards, but they're trying to find an identity, I guess. But anyway, they're, yeah, they initially kind of floated this idea and people were intrigued, but it uh, basically went back to the drawing board because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't fleshed out enough. So, I mean, this type of thing takes a lot of discussion is, is what, you know, you learn in, from looking at other projects that are trying something similar. But, you know, like I said, if you read through the entire proposal, it's very in-depth. Um, and then some of the comments I see, you know, Ether Mage is, is here, um, obviously one of the founders, like be it, making very thoughtful responses to the comments and already kind of brainstorming with the commenters. So yeah, it's, it's cool to see. Yeah. What do you, what no, are your sure. thoughts, Don? I'm like, like, so I'm looking at the the royalties from sales. That you see the like graph or the chart that they kind of put up, or starts in the path out treasury royalties from sales, then it goes to the NFT marketplace. Um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, just looking at all this stuff, it's like very, very interesting and thought out. And then obviously the the burn mechanism. Everybody loves a burn mechanism, a deflationary uh token so yeah obviously over over long time periods that um 
boosts the token price immeasurably. Yeah. No, you know, it's um so I'm I'm actually looking at more of the path like finance side of things. Um floppy. So, you know, um it's it's basically like what they've launched is it's it's borrowing like for gamers like made easy. So think about like using like your actual like gaming like history or gaming experience um and using that to like you know create like you know actual like um like lend like you know lend lendable money you know that you can create like finance off of that it's it's really it's really crazy it's 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 industry leading for sure yeah no, I mean, yeah, and, and it totally makes sense because, you know, if somebody has a proven income, you know, X amount through, uh, you know, play to earn gaming, they they are then, you know, a candidate for a type like loan, you know, uh, they have they they, ha- they can pay it back. So um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it gives it's, people- it's totally different, right? It's totally mm-hmm. different, right? So it's basically financial services built for blockchain gamers and people don't like totally understand that like at first but you know if you like have a history playing these games um if you have a history like you know like essentially yeah like in like the web3 game five space like you can come here and like let's say you need you know x amount of money right now like in order to like change something that's going on in your life or to affect something that's going on in your life like you know path dow like can provide that like through essentially these you know new like fintech services it's it's pretty crazy it's it's like a two-day um like response time i think (laughs) right now (laughs) two days (laughs) that's rad yeah so no, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool what's happening, and you know it's there's a whole different website for like this. So you know it's essentially it's finance um, dot path dow dot io, um, and you know you can immediately borrow up to five hundred dollars um, USD, um, and you know again that's something it doesn't take like two weeks to like get approved i think it's it's literally like two days yeah yeah um yeah i mean there's a lot of people around the world that that can absolutely take advantage of that and uh would make a huge difference for them especially you know if you're you know like talking about in-game assets or or a better pc or whatnot to play these games to increase your earning potential like that could you know for the gamer thinking about oh gosh can i take on debt right now they you know a lot of times they'll they'll say yes because it will allow me to earn more and repay that debt and, and grow from there so yeah it's uh yeah i think it's a phenomenal phenomenal idea and that's you know what path kind of stands for and that's like what their uh vision has been so yeah helping out their gamers no for sure um so i think kind of like the final thing that like we want to talk to um to everyone about tonight is a is a new partnership um floppy i know um <laughs> i know this is something you're excited about but um yeah, synergy yeah. synergy land that's uh that's uh that's our new partner and that's um what we're uh what we're really excited like to share with everyone um we we kind of teased this a little bit earlier tonight um obviously um like uh, we we teased this a little bit earlier tonight on our uh on our twitter account um this is a, a blockchain multiplayer our uh um a um PG like you know game that's cur- it's currently in development by Synergy Games um but this is this is something that you know <laughs> they have they already have a lot of the gameplay 
they already have a lot of like you know videos that like they've been sharing and um this is like a, you know an amazing project some some really cool stuff going on here yeah i mean from yeah from what i've seen a little bit of uh video and screenshots they've released it's like you know they it, yeah it's that like an rpg feel and like little medieval feel and it's i mean there's a ton of people that are gonna that, that this is just right up their alley including me okay <laughs> kind of like these kind of games so yeah excited yeah well you can play you can play with uh with people on pc and also on mobile so i think like that's like you know a big thing that's like you know coming out like from the start and you know for our community like you know this like Synergy Land was really inspired by games such as Diablo and Path of Exile. So we already really have like a community that's like super pumped like on this game. Um, like it's already something that like they're like really excited about, you know. So um, yeah, floppy. It's <laughs> you're, yeah, we you're not the only one that's gonna be playing it. We we need to get Tobes on here next uh, next AMA and. Uh... Yeah, oh, do we do we have an AMA? I with think Tobes is feeling up? better. Okay, good. Yeah, you know Tobes had uh, Tobes had COVID. Mm-hmm. Oh no, yeah, yeah, he's a fighter though. Yeah, he's young and healthy. No, no, I know he is. It's um, yeah, but it sucks when you talk to these guys and you're just like, oh, hey, man, ser- like seriously, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I-, I think I think he's doing okay. Yeah, I, I had COVID like a few weeks ago, and I didn't even know I had it. And then my like taste and smell went crazy, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> COVID!" Do you think you got it because you because you have two children, Floppy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to contain them right now. That's why I keep keep uh, talking really fast to <laughs> get my sentences out. But uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we appre- so, yeah, we appreciate you. Jo- we appreciate you joining tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's just me and the kids uh, in these evening sessions, so it's hard. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's it's awesome. We uh, appreciate you joining, and um, you know, every uh, every happy hour is a little, a little different. But um, you know, um, these indeed, are times uh, where any of the community members can uh, can join and, and asking questions that they have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's. Um, what, what's the AMA chat looking like? Anybody in there with uh, burning questions? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure we. I'm not sure we promoted this one as as uh, as well as we did the other ones. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we we uh, we learn off of each one. See, the the truth is that in the future, as you know, floppy, like we're trying to always do the video. Um, so today we were doing the, uh, you know. Um, the, yeah, just the Discord the audio. audio, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We're trying to we're trying to give more more of the video. We will. The the video went well last week. I really think. Yeah, given that it was uh, super early in the morning for us, but that's fine. Yeah, dep- I mean, we accommodate whatever uh, guest we have, obviously. But um, yeah, yeah, it was nice. Yeah, I, I'm looking to see right now for any any sort of comments, but um, yeah, it seems like people are stoked on what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. hey you guys yeah so we're looking to do a video like next week or like to be honest we're looking to do video for anything going forward um so you know we we've had different like turnouts for all different sorts of events um but yeah we're looking to do video for all like all things going forward so that way is there there's more of like a um uh like continual like recording in terms of like the events and everything that's like happening um so that's that's kind of the thoughts uh floppy like would you agree yeah with that? yeah i mean that kind of the main thought in my mind is is like we when we interview a certain you know web3 game developer uh or team or whatever people can search for and people are on youtube Cause like, I don't know, I do a lot of crypto research on YouTube just because it's easy to like watch, you know, these, uh, these discussions that YouTubers are having with certain yeah, projects. We, we, want, kinda... you, we want when you search YouTube, like, like floppy, like we want 
when you search, like you're like, oh, uh, what's going on with like we want path down, path down, path down, like be at the top. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, the games that we're investing in are like they're like the top games. And you know, some of yeah, them big, yeah. are, some of them are more represented the, uh, than others. And mm-hmm. some of them we are like, you know, w- like we're pushing them all the time, like, hey, um, can we release? No, sorry, we're not able to release yet. Okay, can we release? Like, you know, we're we're sometimes at like the forefront of when these games are releasing. So, you know, for us to be able to, like, you know, put something together where we can say, like, hey, here's what we're doing. Like, this is a big release. Like, I think that'd be a, a great thing for everybody. Yeah, well, yeah, well, kind of to continue on, like, the when people search for Delicium or they search for uh, Synergy or, you know, any any sort of game, then, like, one of the results will be us interviewing them on YouTube and people will be more inclined to click on it and then be like, oh, well, what's path down uh and then they'll, yeah, they'll research it exactly. a bit and be like oh cool i can uh buy a path down nft and and get property share you know or whatever it is and so it yeah the more eyes obviously the better so that's kind of the thought behind you know getting up uh, like a youtube history that that um will give us a ton of exposure yeah we'll keep we'll keep doing more and more yeehaw <laughs> all right should we should, should we wrap it up yeah, should we talk though a little bit last uh, last news before we go? New partnership. Ooh, oh yes, of course, of course. You you go ahead, drop it. Synergy lands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we talk. I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll post something about this, right? But yeah. obviously, um, this is like this is big news. So synergy lands. That's a that's a new partnership that uh, that we're doing. Um, this is <laughs> this is a really exciting. We teased this a little bit earlier tonight, um, but this is like, yeah, this is ex- an exciting project um, that uh, that we have going on. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I think I'll play it. Yeah, because like, yeah, you obviously mentioned our ARPG Diablo Two, a Path of Exile, folks. I don't know if you played. Don, did you play any of those Diablo Two or or Poe? I feel like I'm, I'm a bit, a bit more of a gamer than you. No, no, no. I, I, I think I'm like you know I'm more Diablo like for sure. I'm more of old time gamer, right? Yeah. But, um, that's uh, that's definitely the stuff that like excited me. So yeah. you know, um, I, I know I keep mentioning like this project, but yeah, it's uh, it's something that just it, it, it really excites me. It's exciting. We need to have them on. Uh... For for one of our uh, AMAs for sure. Yeah. So we'll we'll no we'll do a standalone like uh, with them yeah for sure. Mm-hmm. That'll be that'll be a good thing to do. Good stuff, man. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, everyone, um, for tuning in to the uh, the happy hour. Um, you know, we definitely enjoyed we definitely enjoyed doing these. Um, you know, every, everyone's pre, uh, pretty different. Floppy. Yeah, yeah, no, and, and yeah, and thank you uh, to community for joining us for this one. That was uh, that was really cool, and he was, you know, had a lot to say about his project. Obviously, a um, lot going on. Like, pretty incredible that they, you know, at the forefront of that, and like founded their own esports league, and like, I don't know, wow, very cool. Yeah, no, and like. You know, there's a there's a couple of questions just floating around in the general chat. Um, we'll definitely answer these and get back to everybody. And you know, look for another happy hour. Uh, you know, next week. Um, and you know, uh, I think you know, floppy. Like, let's uh, let's we'll we'll try to confirm the guests maybe like a little bit earlier on. Um, I know that some of the guests come on as kind of like a last minute like mm-hmm. you know like with community like um so com- community with like an x x community um <laughs> you know like like when we announced them today like they came on like you know which is awesome like like mm-hmm. really like right after but you know we always want to like promote like you know the people that are coming on and so 
yeah, it was it was great to have them on and look to have like you know a good contribution like for next week. We're de- we're gonna have another AMA like later in the week, so um, stay tuned for that one. All right, I only got one beer and I got I gotta have another one. We hang up. <laughs> All right, awesome. Flunky. Cheers, Don. Yeah. 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 Well, have a good night, man. Okay, cool. Well, hope Good everyone night, has everybody. a hope, hope everyone has a great night. Um, check out like you know some of the stuff we talked about tonight. Synergy Land. Um, <laughs> you know, if if you go to that website, like you're gonna get lost. Like, just, <laughs> cool. yeah, yeah. Reserve some time because they got like you know some some really cool stuff going on for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah. Signing off. Good morning. Night. I forgot that it's morning for most of the people too. <laughs> Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we got a, we got a big global audience. So, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for your time, Floppy. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. You too, man. Cheers. Cheers.